the murder of Thomas and Zelina. This tragic murder occurred in May of 2019 in the village of Zelina in Slovakia. Thomas and his best friend, 16-year-old Judith, were planning a trip to London. After school, they went to her house to pack for this trip. They had planned on leaving very early the next day. Around 3.30 p.m., Thomas let Judith know that he needed to leave because he had volleyball practice. Judith claims that around this time, someone rang the doorbell. She opened the door to find a man standing there that introduced himself as an electrician. Not recognizing the man and having no parents home, she told him that she wasn't going to be able to let him in. It's at this point that Thomas came to see who was at the door. Judith claims that when the electrician saw Thomas, he drew a knife from his bag, rushed into the house, and began to stab him. She says that she went into almost complete shock, but her instincts kicked in to try and save her friend. She tried to stop the man by grabbing for his arm or hand, but accidentally grabbed a hold of the knife instead cutting her fingers to the bone. Judith says that because of the cut and blood loss, she fainted. When she came to, she saw her friend's lifeless body laying next to her. She immediately called her mom and then 911. This seems like a truly terrifying account of a home invasion murder, but there is one huge problem. When the police arrived, they didn't find any traces or evidence of there ever being a third person at the house. In fact, the police had no one to accuse of the murder, except Judith. Thomas was brutally stabbed more than 50 times in the chest, stomach, and even on his neck. Police were able to determine that the murder weapon was a kitchen knife with a black handle that was 31 centimeters in length. They knew this because the knife was actually found in Judith's room inside of a drawer with traces of blood on it. The knife was sent in for forensic testing and there were only two DNA profiles present on the murder weapon. Thomas's and Judith's. In the apartment, police also observed bloody footprints around the body that were positively ID'd as being Judith. There are so many questions to ask in this case, but the one that police are having the hardest time with is motive. What would make a 16-year-old girl stab her best friend over 50 times? And not only that, but she has been in prison for over two years and has stuck to her story without any kind of mental breakdown. At one point, she said, what happened is a big misunderstanding. I do not know how it happened. Thomas was my best friend, and I am so sorry. Judith's parents have even created a website where they have published the evidence, specialist analysis, and even court reports all in hopes that their daughter would be acquitted for the murder. They, along with their other daughter and family members, maintain that Judith is innocent of this crime. But as of this moment, she is still in custody, facing a 15-year sentence for the murder. With no bail set because the judge is concerned by the lack of motive and believes that Judith is a danger to herself and others. During one of the court appearances, Thomas's mother was heard saying, Thomas will never be able to come back to me, and for that I hope and believe in a just punishment. She also told Judith's parents that if they believed in the story of a third person being there, why has no one expressed their condolences for her or anyone else in the family for Thomas's death? After all, they all knew him quite well. Classmates of Thomas and Judith continue to be horrified by the bloody drama and still cannot believe that their beloved classmates will no longer sit with them. 
So what do you believe? Is this a case of a murderer pretending to be an electrician and brutally stabbing a teenager to death in cold blood? Or is this the story of a 16-year-old girl who for some unknown reason decided to murder her best friend by stabbing him over 50 times? <laughs>